All right, so V1 here is uh, simply the difference between uh, V0 and E1. So V1 is simply V0 minus E1. That's it. What about uh, I1? That is pretty simple too. Um, I1 is simply V1 divided by R1. And because V1 is V0 minus E1, I can replace V1 by V0 minus uh, E1 and uh, divide by R1. That gives me I1. So in this manner, I can go ahead and find all the uh, VIs and IIs very straightforwardly from the uh, node voltages. So most often when we analyze circuits, we just go ahead and find uh, the E's, the node voltages, because we know we can very quickly find all the branch voltages and currents. And so we often stop at the uh, node voltage step.